Today, we are gonna be finishing up a residential standing seam metal roof install with a vented ridge detail. What's up guys? Welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. Well, we're coming to the end of our standing seam metal roof install on Adam Mazella's house. We're finishing it off with a vented ridge detail. We're gonna be using a venting material called Coravent. And it's a plastic material that allows air to escape out of the building. It's fastened under the ridge cap. Of course, Matt Lane from Metal Construction Solutions and Installations is gonna be helping us out again today. And we're gonna be starting with the end caps of the building, followed by the vented ridge system. We'll lay it all out for you. Let's go check it out. Here at the gable end, we've run our closures to the end of the building. We've tabbed them in to, to give our cap something to mount to. We fold our ends of our cap down so they're gonna carry down past the bottom of the roof panel. Actually fold them in a little bit tighter. That way when we pull them into the building, you know, we can level these out. We'll caulk up in here or seat it along here. We've already got our closures caulked. And then we'll get to putting this on. You want to be uh, careful engaging these hems. You don't want to drag them on the tie of the panel and scratch the top of that panel. You just want to be careful with it. Sometimes sliding it on is a better option if you can. Right here, we'll probably partially lock them in. Make sure you're hooking and cleating. Slide this over. We're going with a short cap right here. It ties in with the better with the end of the building. Uh, at this point, we're going to start a vented ridge. It's going to carry across the rest of our ridge to the other end. And we'll be working on that here in a minute. If we were running this style of cap all the way across and we didn't have a vented ridge, and we want to make sure we get our rivet spacings right, uh, Sheffield is basically, I believe, one rivet every 18 inches. Well, we do one per panel. Uh, but check with your manufacturer on their fastener spaces. Make sure you got it right. With all our details on our standing seam roofs, the idea is not to have fastener penetration. A lot of the panels, you have an overlay system with like a plastic ribbon on our panel where you're screwing through the panels everywhere. That's not what this type of system's about. When it comes down to our Z channels at the top, you know, the fasteners are buried in behind the system. When it comes to the rivets going into here, the fasteners go from outside of the envelope back to the outside of the envelope. That's the biggest thing to consider when doing one of these systems is to avoid a through fastener penetration at every possible location. Just want to take a, a, a second here. We've put together a mock-up here on how we're going to install this for you. Um, we've got our closures in the tops of our sheets. Our closures have been sealed off. We still need to do this. Um, we've got our drip stop on and this is our vented core vent system. This allows air to travel up through and around. This is a drip stop. That way, just in case any water blows up, we've got a small second line of defense, a little angle up to keep it from blowing up into your uh, ridge assembly. Put this together, this will end up here with a screw that runs down through the cap, through the core vent, and down through the Z, once again, going to the outside of the envelope of the roof so we don't have any fasteners running through the system and into the building. But this is kind of how we're gonna go. We'll run our laps, we'll seal and caulk everything. We'll set these and seal it, you know, hold them down. But once we're pulled in together and tight, you know, this will be your only access for air to enter and leave. This particular core vent has a fiber made on the end, uh, mainly, you know, for real small bugs, but mainly for blowing snow and stuff. That way, you know, it just kind of stops snowflakes and stuff from blowing up into the ridge cap assembly.
Previously, this house, the shingle system was already vented. So when we ice and water shielded, we just ice and water shielded the system to make sure the house stayed dry until installation. Now that we're putting the ridge on, we wanna make sure that obviously we're opening this back up to reactivate the ventilation in the house. Um, if your house needs it, if it's new construction, you know, make sure it's, uh, it's installed with your venting here if it's a system that requires it. But that would be something between you and uh, the architect. Ridge cap ran on our Corvette. We've set all of our laps in place. We don't have any fasteners in it yet. We're down to our last piece. We'll set this on here and then we'll start running our screws uh, per the detail. Sheffield's detail is 12 inches on center. These screws will go down through the ridge cap, down through the Corvette, and then maintaining the, the standing seam ID of not having any through fasteners. It'll go back into the outside of that Z from, that, from the roof back out to here. So we have a clean finish there and we'll get this up. from Metal Construction Solutions and Installations for talking us through and demonstrating the entire process. As always, his link is in the description down below. If you're in the Ohio area and you need true metalworking craftsmen and a great crew, check him out. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel for more videos just like this one. Comment down below with any questions. We got a lot more content coming your way. And as always, I'm Thad Barnett. We will catch you next time.